There's another field I want to show you. It's called the attachment field that you can add to your tables. Basically, it's a field that you can attach most documents, text files, zip files, even images too for each record. And also you should know that it'll automatically compress like images if they aren't compressed already in those fields to keep your database small. So to add this attachment field, like let's say for our customers, we'll have a reports field, maybe basic reports on our customers. Again, like Word documents, even images. Go ahead and right click and go to the design view for our customers table. Come down here and we'll call it the reports. Hit the tab key and for the data type, click on the drop down arrow and it's going to be an attachment data type or field. Now remember that your tables can be used in reports, queries, and forms. So for the field properties down below where it says caption, I'm going to go ahead and type in there report also because that's the name that's going to appear for the field should I use this in a report or a form. And then just go ahead and hit enter to accept it and when you're done be sure to save your work. Okay, now to test this field out. Let me go ahead and click on the view button. Over to the right you can see I've got the report field and it's got those little paper clips there. So far I've got nothing attached to any one of these records. So let's go to the fifth record here and to attach something you can do it one of two ways. Either double click on it and it brings it up and you can click on the add button to you know add documents or images to attach to this record or click cancel. You can also when in doubt right click and go to manage attachments. It brings up the same window. So let's go ahead and click on the add button to add a few attachments. In the exercise folder here let's say I want to add the picture um, books and also a document here. So what I did is I held down the control key after I selected books and clicked on import so I can select both of them again using the control key and then click open then click OK. Now you can see over to the right that this record hasn't been saved so I can't open this up and view them until I actually save the record. I mean the little pencil there it's in write mode. So I can just either click off in another record or hold down the shift key and hit enter to save that record with those two attachments. Now let's say I'm in here the next day and I want to be able to export or save these attachments to my desktop. What I can do is double click to open it up. There's the two attachments. Maybe it's the document. Double click and it opens up the Word document. And then if I want to export this, all I have to do is click on the Office logo, go down to Save As. And then let's say to my desktop and click Save and then close out of the Word document. It's still here. I mean it hasn't deleted it. It just created the copy on my desktop there. So I can click Cancel, minimize access down to the taskbar, and there's my exported file. So it's on my desktop on my computer and also let me click on it to maximize access. Still attached to the client here, which is Camp Blizzard. Okay, now let me show you what it looks like in a form. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of my table here, make sure I still have my table selected because based upon the table, when I come up here and click on the Create tab, I want to be able to build a form. So I'll click on the Form button, and there it is in the Layout view. There's my Report field down below. Let me right-click on here and go to the actual Form view. There we go. Now it is quite long here. It goes all the way to the edge. I may want to fix that later, but let's go to Record 5. And there we go, there's our books image. Now when I click and hover over here, remember I had two attachments to this field. I had the uh, books image and also have the XML document. Again, when I click on here, you can see that little toolbar that comes up where I can go to the next item, which is my Word document, or I can right click on here and also go back to the image or right click and go forward to the Word document. In which case, whatever pulls up or wherever I want to navigate to using that little mini toolbar, I can just go ahead and double click on that and it still brings up the attachments where I can go ahead and open up the document or open up the image. Click Cancel. And being able to move back and forth in between the two, the image will actually show the image but in a smaller format. I mean if it was huge it would still give us the whatever it could fit within the report field here. And then for the documents, when I move back it just shows the image of the Microsoft Word document. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.